Core makes time tracking easy. Let's walk through everything you need to know to get started. You'll find all your timekeeping options under Time and Expenses on the main menu. Click Time Card. Time Card is the fastest and easiest way for employees or vendors to enter their time. It replicates a real timesheet with a grid-like layout. You can enter time in week view or day view and toggle back and forth between the two in the top right-hand corner. You can have your time card pre-filled with the same projects and activities from your prior week. You can also add new ones directly into the top row of the grid. If you like to add memos to your typical time entries, you can set the time card to always display the entry details by using the More button. Then, enter a memo and also change the billable or overtime settings if needed. Save your work and you're done. Simple as that. If there is a memo associated with a time entry, there will be a small down arrow visible in the cell. To submit your time card to be reviewed, click Actions and then Submit. On the Submit Time dialog, select the person to whom you want to submit your time card. Depending on your company's settings, you might select My Manager, and it will go directly to the right reviewer. You can also type in a special memo to the reviewer if you like. Click Done, and your time card will be submitted. You're automatically notified when they've been approved or rejected. The Time Entry screen allows you to log your time in a rapid entry grid. You can select a date, project, and activity, and enter the hours worked. Click Done, and that's it. Employees can enter time here, but this advanced screen allows power users to view any range of entries in multiple ways for multiple purposes. Managers can use this screen to track down possible mistakes and reconcile summary values. You can track time using a timer. Click on Timers from the main menu to go to the Timers list view. Then, click Add Timer. You can also use the shortcut on the icon bar to see existing timers and create new ones. If you want to, you can start a timer right away, without entering any information. Later, you can enter the project and activity details and save it. You can start and stop a timer when working on a task and switch between multiple timers to track multiple jobs. For example, you can quickly track time between different phone calls with different clients. Every time you add a timer, it populates your timers list. From there, you can start, pause, and edit all your timers. That's everything you need to know to get started with time tracking in Core. So, go ahead, take it for a spin.